It is obvious that people who started early religions had some serious problems with sexuality. Starting with the myth of the virgin birth, it is clear they wanted to control sex to their specific beliefs or needs. One wonders why priests were not allowed to marry in the first place. If there actually was a Jesus and his band of merry men, then the gay life may have been the incentive from the very beginning. I know there have been a lot of things written on the subject, but when looking at it from afar, there is little doubt homosexuality was a major influence. In early times, monks, who had a better than average chance of being homosexual, lived in monasteries, and it was not unusual to have little boy orphans there also, which probably led to the acceptance of pedophilia among the group. It makes you wonder if there is a connection with little child angels in religious art. I am most familiar with the Catholic religion, in high school, I heard about guys going to seminary having homosexual experiences. At least half the priests I met were gay. It was usually very obvious. I had a Jesuit brother as a teacher in high school that was gay. Most of the straight priests eventually had affairs or left the priesthood to marry. Thankfully, I did not have to fend off any pedophile priests. It is also obvious that a large portion of Catholic nuns were gay. It was a good place to hide their sexual preferences. As lesbianism became more acceptable, the number of nuns dropped proportionately. More than 10% in the past year. Not having any first-hand experience with Muslims, one can only wonder why there was an infatuation with virgins, other than perversion, uncontrolled lust, or low self-esteem of Muslim men. There are several references to sexual acts with young girls in Muslim writings uh, before and after the age of nine, which was the virgin cutoff age. I suspect having them covered after that was to shield men from the embarrassment of the lowly act. Requiring women to be covered could have been a preventive measure, so the men would not rape every woman they saw, or it could have been to allow having sex without any psychological attachment. One's as good as another. Whatever the reason, women have gotten the short end of the stick in Muslim countries. Pun intended. Another thing I find interesting in the holy books is a certain amount of hype regarding sexual acts. There are references to sexual gratification with virgins, homosexual sex, incest, rape, and so on. What's the point unless it's to attract attention? Was the story of Lot really enhanced by knowing he had sex with his daughters? You kind of wonder what kind of guy Lot was to go around telling everybody he had sex with his daughters the day after his wife died. What a wonderful moral lesson for Christians. All in all, not much different than throwing some sex in a modern novel to spice up the story. Everyone knows sex sells. Currently, Hardly a day goes by that you don't hear of a minister impregnating a relative or having a homosexual affair. These acts in themselves would not be so bad, but these men of God were preaching against these so-called sins at the same time. Why people continue to go to these churches is mind-boggling. The end result has been a truly distorted view of sexual values. Pedophile priests perverted ministers, gay intolerance, the spread of AIDS, and more. History will laugh in despair at the religious stupidity of this age.